Hi there, my name is Mim Beam. I'm a naturopath and a breathing coach. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the nuances of the control pause. In another, an, another video, either that way or that way, not sure on the playlist, I have, I'm actually teaching the control pause and so you can learn how to do it there. This is more about questions, uh, answering questions that I'm often asked in courses about the control pause. So basically, again, it's a measurement of how long you can comfortably hold your breath. It's a measurement of carbon dioxide tolerance. Patrick McEwen in Oxygen Advantage calls this, calls this the BOLT score, which stands for Body Oxygen um, Level Test. It's the same thing. So basically what you do with your mouth closed, you take a normal comfortable breath in, a normal comfortable breath out, and then you hold your nose, you block your nose, until you feel a sensation in the body. Very often it's the diaphragm, it could be at the back of the throat, but it's a sensation in the body from the brain telling the body to start to breathe. And how long your control pause is a measurement of a lot of things. It's fitness, um, but it's also your, how functional your breathing is and often how well you are. So the lower the control pause, the worse off you are. However, there are a couple of exceptions. So let's talk about the control, short control pause. And this will be a really short control pause. So something under 10 seconds. I have had patients and um, young children also who cannot hold their breath for 10 seconds. And it's really clear because they, they're mouth breathers, they will always probably be mouth breathers. Um, and then they, they release and it's <gasps> Okay, so that one is definitely um, a short control pause. But for other people, they'll take their hand away and I'll go, you know, I wonder why they did that because they're clearly not distressed. And they'll say, no, 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 I felt it, I felt it. So there's two things going on. One is, is this person anxious? because you know, it is kind of odd <laughs> to block your nose. And for people with anxiety, or maybe they're this, and this is really interesting because it can resurface um, early near drowning or suffocation and, and, and you know, very, I think that there's a real cellular memory. So is it anxiety about holding the breath? And if that's the case, I'll often say, let's not worry about it at the moment, continue with the course, continue doing breathing exercises until you get more used to it, and then go back and try it again. The other possibility with a really short control pause that isn't true is someone who doesn't have a lot of body awareness. And so this person isn't used to responding to body responses. And they're more saying, my, it's more that the head is saying, you've had enough, you've had enough. So it could be a bit of both. And that, that is, um, you know, again, I don't think that you have to be too concerned about the, um, the control pause. In Buteco land, you know, it's the holy grail, but you know, sometimes it's like, don't worry about it. If it's stressing you out, don't worry about it. At the other end, is the person who can hold their breath for a long, 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 long time. <laughs> and this happens every so often. And, you know, because people know or have some awareness that the longer the control pause, the better it is. Buteco, Constantine Buteco used to say 40 seconds, 60 seconds. Um, you know, so people are holding on for, 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 for dear life. And, um, you know, if you're a, um, a free diver or if you've done a lot of breathing exercises, yeah, it, it's relatively easy to have, well, it's not uncommon to have a, a CP or a BOLT score of 40 seconds, 60 seconds, even longer. However, for the person who's clearly not an athlete and, and has a whole lot of health problems, I get a little concerned when they're able to have the CP going on and on and on and on and on. And what is sometimes going on is that person's got obstructive sleep apnea, OSA. And that's uh, a condition where you have pauses or apneas during sleep. So you're not breathing. It's not a very good thing to have. And it's something that the breathing exercises can actually help. 
but these people are well versed in holding their breath. They're doing it hundreds of times during the night. So for those people having a long control pause is not indicative of how functional their breathing is. In fact, their breathing's really dysfunctional. They're often snoring. They often have other signs that their breathing's dysfunctional, yawning, mouth breathing, and so on. So interestingly, over the length of the course, these people's control pores will drop, and that's actually a good thing. So I hope I've answered a few questions. Thank you again.